people need to know what they should do, and one of the things they should do is take responsibility. Have you heard of Jordan Peterson? He's a psychologist who lectures about responsibility. I assume that would bore young people, yet millions watch his videos and buy his book. 12 Rules is unbelievably successful. Number one on Amazon. That almost never happens with nonfiction. Yeah, well, and it's also a difficult book. You know, it's a dark book as well, so it's not, it's not the sort of thing that you would expect people to line up to buy. And yet they do. They line up in long lines. Excited, says Peterson, to learn about responsibility. <laughs> Young men get excited when you talk to them about responsibility? Yeah, yeah, fancy that, eh? Who would have ever guessed that? I wouldn't have. No, no kidding. No kidding. The emergence of ethical behavior... When Peterson first rented a lecture hall, he didn't know if anyone would listen to him speak. Do you imagine this, eh, hey, as, a, as, a, as an invitation to a lecture? Okay, we're going to talk about the Old Testament in a really dark way, like you think that's going to be successful. And we're going to talk about responsibility and truth. Oh, they'll be beating down the doors to attend those lectures. And well, they all sold out. His lectures continue selling out because, he says... People have been fed this, this diet of pablum, rights and impulsive freedom. Free tuition. Making quality childcare affordable. You have a right to a living wage. All we've had for 60 years is a dialogue about rights. There's a, just an absolute starvation for the other side of the story. Well, that leaves a hole in people's hearts. Carmen. Peterson fills that hole with things he learned from his clinical psychology practice. It's in responsibility that most people find the meaning that sustains them through life. It's not in happiness. It's not an impulsive pleasure. Instead, he says, the way to find meaning is... To adopt the responsibility for your own well-being and to try to put your family together and to try to serve your community and to try to seek for eternal truths and to live them. That's the sort of thing that can ground you in, in your life enough so that you can withstand the difficulty of life. Research backs him up. People feel fulfilled when they feel competent. It's very helpful for people to hear that they should make themselves competent and dangerous and take their proper place in the world. Competent and dangerous? Mm -hmm. Why dangerous? There's nothing to you otherwise. Like if you're not a formidable force, there's, not, there's no morality in your self-control. If you're incapable of violence, not being violent isn't a virtue. <laughs> people who teach martial arts know this full well. If you learn a martial art, you learn to be dangerous, but simultaneously you learn to control it because it's the alternative to being weak, naive and weak and harmless, which is what young men are being encouraged to be. Encouraged, says Peterson, by educators and media that bash masculinity. The problem is toxic masculinity. Toxic masculinity. Toxic masculinity. We're alienating young men. We're telling them that they're patriarchal oppressors. That's a bad message, says Peterson. Life is a very difficult process, and you're not prepared for it unless, unless you have the capacity for, to be dangerous. By dangerous, that implies I should be ready to threaten someone, to hurt somebody. No, you should be capable of it. But that doesn't mean you should use it. Your female critics say, you men are already stronger than we. You abuse us, and you're encouraging that. No, oh, well, that's definitely not the case. But lots of people call Peterson sexist, transphobic, evil. From Vox. <laughs> You've claimed feminists have an unconscious wish for brutal male domination. Now you tell me why they line up with the Islamists. Not all do. They no, just no. haven't criticized them. Well, that's good enough for me. You know, you'd think if the, if the feminists practiced what they'd preached, there'd be nonstop demonstrations against Saudi Arabia. Saudi women, they still cannot get married, travel abroad, or open a bank account without permission of a male guardian. You see how much concern there is among the radical feminists for the rights of women. Others dismiss him as shallow. Articles call him a charlatan. The stupid man smart person? Peddling fascist mysticism because comments like toughen up you weasel and compassion is a vice provide philosophical backup to demagogues like Donald Trump. He's fired! Compassion is a vice? If it's taken too far, hyper-protectiveness, helicopter parenting, all of that. When you have children, you have to encourage them to take risks because they have to grow up and take their place in the world. You can't protect them too much because if you do, you destroy them. And that's a message that leads millions of people to buy this book 
and line up to hear Jordan Peterson speak.